beloved wife and daughter, and then here loves, here lies a man who's just grateful to live as long as he did. So we buried them behind the opera house. So everybody that came in here died, and we don't know who Volchek, where Volchek went. I mean, it's commendable that she kind of tried to save the dragon, but I, I'm almost certain that dragon would have been perfectly fine without her jumping in to try to play a uh, hero, right? Especially since we were already there, so like you just got yourself killed for no reason. Death and destruction. Slap, same as you slam, speed punch. Um, I guess I killed him with a wild growth. I just realized Shavetta doesn't really have a lot of uh, MP. No, neither Surreal for that matter. magic attacks. It's probably the darkness, right? Or synergy, I should say. Sorry, I was playing Fire Emblem. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get you to do that forever. Um, let's check items real quick. I've mastered that. But it's still stronger than the rapier. I've already mastered it, but I guess that means I, I was already pretty much mastered. It's brass knuckles. I mean, it can't be that hard to master that. Alright, so, I'm almost finished with that. That I can give him the axe. Excellent, we made it to the pier. Can anyone explain to me what just happened? The villains, the impregnable forts of city, really just get invaded by monsters? They were they were everywhere. We cannot walk five feet without being attacked by random creatures. I can see a little village getting over like that. But is it this side? Not a chance. Apparently, there was at least one chance. Craig, do you know what happened back there? I have a theory, yes. Even to Craig to develop an explanation while running from hordes of monsters. <clears throat> yes, in any case, I believe the cause was the shadow created by Luna as an eclipse soul. Anything. First off, um, first of all, we are all in agreement that the monsters did not appear until dawn, correct? Once they did, um, once they did manifest, they appeared in the shadows, anyway, uh, away from sunlight. Did you notice that? Yes. Of course you knew all along. 
Always a one step ahead, eh, Matthew? At any rate, I conclude that the monsters appear from the shadows cast at dawn, but there's more. Does that have something to do with Luna's influence? Yes, I theorize that the shadows Luna cast are gathering, um, gathering and concentrating evil energy into them. And what is the relationship between the monsters and this evil energy? Well, we usually see monsters in the deep, dark places of the world, correct? Places rife with evil energy? These places strengthen monsters, and this eclipse, unlike natural darkness, radiates the same energy. Meaning, unfortunately, that not only are monsters out of their usual haunts now, but they are stronger. So why do they hate the light? Light dispels the foul energy that these creatures feed on. It's painful and draining to them. And Bilinsk, uh, and Bilinsk is now miasma um, of this dark and evil energy. Is my home lost in? I am afraid it may be. Everyone look on Polinsk and remember it well. We may not see it again. That's for sure. Sadly, that is not the end of the bad news. If I'm correct, the effect is, is not restricted to Polinsk. What? How far will it reach? Anywhere under the shadow of the eclipse, presumably. Well, that's it then, right? It's the end of the world. Your father would be disgusted to hear you give up so quickly. But what can we possibly do? That ship? Is that brake ship? Ship? You mean that floating pile of junk over there? It does appear a bit aged. You must have had it repaired. What flag is that ship sailing under? It's my dad's boat, I think. It looks a bit different since the repairs. Look, that's Briggs, I'm sure of it. That must be his ship then. Um, that must be a ship then. Wait, are there monsters on the ship? It appears so. We have to help him. Dad! Eolio! What is he doing? Eolio, don't be a fool! No! I've got a bad feeling about this! Eolio will not survive. You have to save him, Matthew. Why do I gotta do all the work? Bam! Bam! I was I was hoping to say sunset. Bust! <laughs> Hoping for a one hit KO, you know. Um, let's go ahead and use Nature's Boon on Feta. Level 30. Amity went level 27. Amity's gonna be the weakest person on my team because he's never gonna get off the bench. I can't see Elio anywhere. Uh, he's probably with his father. Dead. I never imagined that this would be how Briggs would leave us. Truly, death is unpredictable. Briggs docked his ship here to save us. It's not right that he's going that it's going to cost him his life. Yeah, the greatest pride of the high sea should, I don't know, go down with the ship or something. If we hadn't kept him waiting, if we'd got here sooner, he might have lived to grow old. I have painted all pirates with the same broad brush, and now I, find my, and I, I owe my life to one. This is all my brother's fault. How many lives has, um, have now been lost in this terrible mistake? How bad is it, Dad? I had a good friend, lived my life free, answer to no man. What are you talking about? You're too tough to let this be the end. Tell your mom I'm sorry to leave her alone, and take care of Chompa for me. Dad, no! Wait, is he actually dead though? <sighs> Just 
just keeps getting colder. I can't wait to get back in the cabin. Quit complaining. It's disrespectful. Even the weather has gone mad. Can this all be from the effects of the tower? We are ready to begin. Eolio, are you sure this is what you want? Dad lived his life for the sea. This is how he wanted. it. Dad, I, I wish I had known you'd be good. I'm gone so soon. I guess I thought I still had time. But I swear I'm going to make the one who's who pay, uh, did this pay however long it takes. So rest in peace, Dad. I've got it from here. You're serious about that vow, aren't you, uh, Yolio? Absolutely, I'm sticking with you guys until we can stop all this and get revenge for my old man. Besides, someone's got to um got to pilot this ship for you. Briggs destroyed by shadows and fog, and now we have to go back and tell Chaucha that her husband is dead because of shadows and fog. So if that's all the talk for now, let's get this ship ready to sail. Alright, so I believe this is the point of no return right here, right? Um, so let's double save. Rick was killed fighting monsters of the Eclipse. The Elio joined the party in order to avenge his father's death. We'll save twice because, I mean, it's the point before of no return. This is just in case I come in and someone's like, Yo, you missed a bunch of crap. Something about this ship must fascinate him. Not. Pretty sure it's not the ship, sir. That's fascinating to him. Everyone said that Brick's ship was essentially a floating wreck, but it seems remarkably seaworthy now. As talented as they are, I don't think even Port Rago's shipwrights could have done all this. Ready to push? I'm uh, ready to go. Time to push off. Um, let me say no because I I I gotta check this right. I guess I say yes, right? Good. Go find yourself a seat and we'll set sail. Volchek. That how came from near the tower. It was Volchek, I'm certain. Volchek! 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 Veta, there's nothing you can do for him. Come inside, it's cold out here. Sveta, dear sister. Volchek! Forgive me for being such a fool. Those two operating scum used me and I didn't see it until it was too late. Of course I'll forgive you. Is he magically floating it towards me? Take this. I stole it from Blados. Hopefully you can use it as a weapon against the Swapperay. Where are you going? You can't stay in Belinsk. Where can I go but here? Come with us. I am King of Morgal. I cannot leave our capital when my own misjudgment may have destroyed it. Then I will stay with you. 
No, dear sister. I am the king and you are the last of our line. My duty is to stay. Yours is to live. No, I refuse. Stock the boat and let me off. Goodbye, Shveta. I pray you live a long and happy life. Goodbye, Volchek. It's it's hard losing family. That's sorry. Cyberell always twitched like that. So we made it? <laughs> Between the monsters and the storm, I thought we had it. We appear to be basically safe and sound. I confess I was hoping to wake up in the palace of Aote. I suppose my old life was the dream, though. Yeah, I guess so. Kind of a rude wake-up, Kaya. Ah, excellent. You are all awake at last. Sorry to interrupt everyone, but can we, um, can't we, um, but we can't just lie around anymore. Get up! Ooh, so stiff. Ow! Are you sure we are ready? Maybe not, but what else are we gonna do? Good morning, everyone. Oh, hey, Shveta. I'm glad to see you're alright, Shveta. You look remarkably well, Shveta. All right, you look like nothing's happened. <laughs> All right, you look like nothing happened. And hey, is it time to get up? Do we have, um, do we know something? <laughs> What's up? Ah, is that the item that King Volchek threw to you, Shveta? He made it sound extremely important. So what's the deal with it? At this point, we are still unsure what it is. Wait a minute, I thought you knew everything, Kratten. If Kratten can't identify it, I cannot believe it. You're kidding, right? Hey, we only have the item itself to work with. It's not like, a, um, it's not a lot to go on, you know. If, I'm sure Kratten appreciates your powerless confidence in his abilities. The item is obviously ancient and presumably valuable, but these facts don't explain anything. You gotta remember to grab a good ninja today? If I... I don't know, I... <laughs> part of me is like, yeah! And the other part is like, I honestly don't care. <laughs> we also know that Volchek risks his life to keep it out of our enemies' hands. Volchek also described it as a weapon, though it's still unclear what he meant. So what do we do now? We have to. What have you learned while we are apart, Reef? What have I learned? Karis tells me that you had quite the journey around the world before arriving in Belinsk. You, you've restarted alchemy machines and traversed Craggy Peak. I could have done those things. Your accomplishments speak volumes of your determination and skill, as well as teamwork. By the way, what's up, Shade? How's it going? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. What, 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 welcome on in. Let's go. Yes, I suppose you're right. Ultimately, I study only the distant past, which does not, um, which does nothing to answer questions on its own. So what, what will answer our questions? Your travels have granted your experience. The true knowledge. You're saying we have to figure out what to do ourselves and can't wait for you to tell us? More or less, though I certainly won't abandon you, let's look for answers together. Well, you know, my vote is always for doing stuff, not sitting around talking about it. And that may actually be our wisest course. Really? Indeed, sometimes the surest path to knowledge is simply to start moving. I see that Matthew agrees with this approach. Excellent. So, are we done with this discussion? Almost. I did want to bring up um, that the tower's activation seemed to have been somehow pre present eons ago. That's what that warp machine in the tower said, too. 
Somehow the ancients knew we were coming like a prophecy. That masked man claimed this was only the beginning. Yeah, Arcanus also said we'd meet again, and soon. But know this, opening the cell in this dreaded machine was only the beginning. I look forward to our next meeting. Until then, farewell. Uh, sounds good. No thanks, though. I'm, there's nothing that I'm looking for right now. That's what he said. Hmm, I suspected as much. Until now, we have done exactly as our enemies have expected. Yeah, we've been a step behind the whole way, even dead. I'm going to make them pay for that, though. I think it's fair to say you'll have your chance, Yolio. This young pirate has succeeded his father Briggs as the scourge of the Eastern Sea. As a fire adept, Yolio has an edge in piracy. Free spirit like his father, he is a loyal. He is a, he is also loyal and respected by his crew. You'll lead well. Um, you've led well to this point, Matthew. So I see no reason to change that arra arrangement. Yeah, Matthew's got the job done so far. I'll keep following you. I will. F I would follow no other. You've got a good head on your shoulders, kid. If we're all agreed, let's go. Well, while I diff um, let's go. And while I defer to your leadership, Matthew, I have one suggestion. We will learn most about the eclipse if we can find some land that overlaps its edge and see it from the outside. We should, we should also talk to local leaders from kings to village chieftains. Any might know something useful. You should also know, Matthew, that my spirit sense can look into people's hearts. You may find it useful, so don't hesitate to ask me, um, me to use it. Okay, so what we did... It's finally time to get moving. But you're the new captain, you need to know how to get off on and off the ship. To get off the ship, head for a beach on, or dock and sail right into it. To get back on, just walk back into the ship, whenever it's, um, wherever it's waiting for you. Alright, so what we need to do now, before any and everything, is we need to double check our counts, right? Let's save again, right here. Okay, so we got 11, 13, 12, and 14, in terms of Jenny, right? Um, so, Shay, what is the best way to look in terms of determining what kind of Jenny we should be having right about now? Um, just past the uh, halfway point, right? Is there a gen guide? Oh yeah, this is a gen guide, but does it tell me where? This doesn't have this site that I'm on doesn't have a uh, a, a walkthrough so I can look through that. Unfortunate. I guess I have to Google search one, right? Um. Let's see. Don't. Uh, let me. Because for some reason my Firefox still defaults to Yahoo Mail. For some reason. Uh. Uh, golden sun, dark dawn. Walk to. I guess I could do. Do I do game facts? I don't know. I hate game facts because it's, it seems like a bunch of text. On a screen, right?
So I guess that's what most guides are, right? Yo, this and this text is bad. Yeah, I no, I no, nope, can't do it. Game facts is nope, no. Nope. It hurts my eyes just looking at it. Is that is that bad? All right, so was that part three? So part three is the Tepe Ruins. So we're in part four then. Right? Up that Belisk City. Um, cool beans. Then we go up next to walk through part 20. Uh, that sends you to Kalama and all that fun stuff. Um, then you have 21. Kalama and Talents Pink. Uh, then back to Belinsk. Um, Blados and Callus, considering how much these two jerks have been hounding you since you first saw them, it's definitely time to put for a little payback. Yeah, so we beat them up. Um, then the next part would be. More blitz. All right, so that's the Opera House. After that, you have a couple long cutscenes to watch. Once they're done, you find yourself on a boat in the middle of the sea. Uh, you be you wind up behind an Opera House after the fight. Simply so walk. Blah blah blah. Um. Okay, so once there you're done, you'll find yourself on a boat in the middle of the ocean. You're into the final phase of the game. Um, so it doesn't tell me. What Jenny and whatnot I should have. By now, right? That's what I'm trying to find out. Like a list of the Jenny and stuff I should have. By this point. of the game. That's what I wanted to know. I can't find a good page for it. Um, so my assumption is going to be that I found them all, right? <laughs> Leading up to this current spot, right? Oh, I noticed that's what he did. He split the Jenny up so that everybody has equal Jenny. I mean, fair, I guess. A little annoyed. She becomes a brawler. Ooh, her stats take a humongous plummet. Hmm, we'll leave it like this then. 
I didn't realize her stats were going to take that much of a, disc a dip. Somehow he's the one that ended up with more than he should have. That's weird. No, he shouldn't end up with more than he should. Okay, good. I can finally make him a ninja. He's finally a ninja. He's finally what he should have been all along, right? So yeah, Shade, if you happen to know how many Jenny I'm supposed to have up to this point, uh, let me know. Because right now I'm sitting at 14 uh, Jupiter, 12 Mars, 13 Mercury, and 11 Venus. Yo, was this boat always this slow? Because this is ridiculously slow. And also, how are you doing today? I think I asked you that already, but just in case. Harun Village. I'm amazed you made it all the way to Harun Island through the storm. What bravery. Our village here is small, but you won't find another on the island. So, you know, welcome. Appreciate your kindness, my friends. Rest assured that I won't do anything bad on your island. Especially nothing like blow it up or something like that, you know. I mean, it's kind of obvious that something was there, right? Wow, Yolio has no defense right now. That's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. Um, I don't quite know why we can move that box. The village storyteller, um, I'm the village storyteller, but since my son and little grandson Kaba went missing, I've been too worried to tell my stories. My husband has not come home, but I refuse to grieve. Nothing is certain yet. I'm still trying to figure out what the whole point of moving that box was. Let me check his weapon. Yo, his weapon looks dumb and old. I don't want to upgrade weapons yet. Let's go in here first. Crush! Bing. Yeah, I, I want to believe that I got all the Jenny back there. Crush! Including all the overworld ones as well. Yeah, I clearly did something wrong there. Pretty simple. I don't know what the heck I was doing. I made it complicated. 
spring. Uh, this hopeful spirit represents the water that bubbles from springs and is found in Harun Village. Springs water is supernaturally refreshing. I think that's the one that heals everybody. This will make her a white mage. Let's go ahead and uh, switch them, right? Now I just gotta give him a uh, her a Jupiter. We're waiting for Hemi as well. All right, so we're looking for his wife. I mean, for her. The husband and grandchild. So part of this done part of this cave is trapped in fog, right? That's the whole thing behind it. And most likely they're here because you know, why would we not be in a safe spot when we could be in an unsafe spot, right? How this is gonna work though. Oh, whirlwind. I was like, what the heck was that? Give me a shot, Monet. Just flip me backwards onto the box. Which means treasure chest is mine, ninja headband. Let's go. It's perfect for Matthew because I'm a ninja now. Because she doesn't have anything, right? It's not cool that she doesn't have anything, right? Let's give her some stuff. Crush! We're trying to get to where they're at, right? Forgot that I gotta go halfway across the world and then some just to find their location. Can I crush that? Nope, too far away. I'm starting to think that I should put this on my hotkey. matter because either way I'm gonna have to use move I wonder if they can see or hear the boulder moving Kaba ah! <laughs> I'm sorry that was terrible who are you we might ask you the same thing relax Kaba I think these people are alright or at least not monsters Kaba I feel like I've heard that name Maybe back at Harun Village? A small village on Harun Island is home to some ancient ruins with a legacy of traditions. It is famous for the local seaweed. Sorry. 
Yes, I'm from Econ. Yes, from Econ, the storyteller. That's my grandfather. And my father. You must be crazy to go out on these conditions. You are fortunate that we came to um that we can help you. Fortunate fortunate people don't break their legs. I'm glad you're here with me. With Dad's leg broken, I didn't know what to do. I'm not sure they can help us, son. I don't see a stretcher or anything. We don't need a stretcher. You're going to walk out of here on your own. I know that sounds crazy, but just relax and let us work. Did you see that, Dad? When he, what, um, when he was doing that... He filled up with light and then put the light in you. Er, I didn't see anything. But my leg doesn't hurt anymore. Ah, which means this child has synergy. Or potential for synergy. Let's see if I can stand up. You did it. You never, it's like it was never hurt. I can't even jump on it. A minute ago, you can't move at all. Who are you? No one of consequence, but I must know. If you need to keep your secrets, that's fine, but thank you. If, it's, if you're ever around Harwood Village, stop by our house. We don't have much, but you're always welcome. Hey, I was going to say that. As for Econ, the storyteller, anyone town can point you to our house. Time to get home, son. Your mother must be worried. I'll race you. That's probably how you got hurt in the first place. Running when you shouldn't have been. Cute kid. That was very well done, Reef. Thanks. Glad it was nothing. Especially when you consider that he comes from a family of healers. <laughs> These are the kinds of detours I like. Probably time to move on, though. Yeah, because we gotta go get our prize. And that prize is treasure. Muramasa. Oh, it's cursed. Oof. Well, uh, we're, guess what we're selling? to mute the mic and my camera for just a second. If I can find my camera. Okay, sorry about that chat. The old nose needed to blow, so I had to mute everything since you guys didn't be able to deal with it. Alright. Alright, so Gotta find a way to the other side so that I can break that thing up. Most likely we won't be able to do from here anyway, so. Oh, 
I mean, do I actually have to go back and talk to him though, right? I feel like I can do this without talking to him. You shouldn't see my mom's. You should have seen my mom's face when I walked into the house. She was so surprised. I knew something had happened on the mainland, but I didn't think it would reach us here. I was a fool. When I first stepped onto on the beach, the sea was quiet. Then a storm. I'm just lucky you came along. When shadows falls over the world, it will herald the times of darkness. Only the power of light can end it. Use the eye that pierces darkness to find the protection of shadows. The last of these eyes lies in warrior's heel. My husband and my son are both home and safe. I knew they would return. Actually, I'm curious as to what she's thinking, though. Oh, I wish my husband had followed in his father's footsteps to become a storyteller instead of a fisherman. But yeah, if he was a storyteller, he'd be home all the time and I wouldn't worry so much. But is there a lot of money in storytelling? Because you kind of need that to survive, right? All right, we're at Warrior's Hill. Unfortunately, we have to listen to this song, which it's a little unfortunate. I, not the best song that exists within this game, that's for certain, but it's not the worst either. It's just not a song that you want to listen to repetitively, right? <laughs> 